I'm going to send it over to Elon on the top right because Elon on the top left uh, kind of dropped the ball a little bit. So instead of instead of looking up tech and stuff, he just put it all on me and just went and got the, I mean, at least he got the pizza, right? He left us the pizza. So anyway, let me send it over to Elon on the top right. Elon on the top right. What's going on with uh, the last uh, the top players passing on the last chance qualifiers? Hey, it's me, Elon from the top right. So I'm, I'm gonna I have the information on top players passing on the last chance qualifier. So uh, Capcom announced that the Capcom Pro Tour Finals is going to be essentially a whole week long event, starting on Monday. Wait, is it Monday or Sunday? I don't remember. I think it was the twelfth starting on Sunday. Um, so they're going to essentially have the first half of the week be the last chance qualifiers. The second half of the week is going to be pools for uh, pools and groups for uh, the CPT finals. And finally, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is going to be top 32s to top eights and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of players have been announcing that they are not going. Uh, who who might not want to go, you might ask? Players like Daigo Mehara has said he's not going. Bonchan has said he's not going. Um, Arturo has noted that he will not be attending. So I'm sure all of those players, and like there's a lot of other players too who have announced that they will not be going, and I'm sure all of their reasons are different, right? It's unfair to assume that all of them have the same reason for not going. However, there is something that got brought up on the Twitter discourse, surprisingly, that I thought was a very lucid point. And it is that Tech the oh, Tekken, geez, uh, that's bottom left Elon's job. I'm thinking Tekken here. Uh, Capcom Pro Tour being a week long is a strain that a lot of people cannot handle, right? Uh, usually for tournaments, like I myself, I do have a day job, so I have to request off of my day job, right? And I'm not going to be making money those days. Um, and instead, I'm traveling for a tournament where, while I'm not making money, I'm also spending money to get there, right? Uh, so hotels, flights, food, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, having to do that for an entire week, arriving there on a Sunday, and for some top players who have the possibility of winning the last chance qualifier, then having to be there until next Sunday, seven whole days of stopping your life to participate on this seems bizarre. A lot of players are choosing to skip out on the last chance qualifiers, and understandably so, because one whole week of stopping your life is too much for quite about, like, just about anybody, right? Especially when you add to the fact that it's in L.A. Like, L.A. is an extremely, extremely expensive place in the U.S., Specifically, and it's specifically Hollywood too, which is an expensive area of LA. Uh, so imagine like paying for seven nights at a hotel or at an Airbnb in LA. It's going to be, it's going to hurt. Food every night, it's going to hurt, right? So it's it's tough, man. It's very hard to justify. It's very hard to justify. I mean, if you're somebody, if you're somebody like I don't know, like Idom or Phenom. Or Mr. Crimson, Punk, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like you could totally then justify it, right? Because you do have the chance to get in the money and make all that money back. However, for us normies, we ain't we we ain't got, we ain't got a chance in hell. <laughs> so why the hell would we go? Um, and even top players who aren't necessarily as confident about making it up there, like it, it seems unreasonable. So I think the the gambit of making the LCQ and everything, a whole week-long event. While cool in the sense that it's a lot of things happening throughout the week, so it feels like it's less rushed and less hectic, I don't think it does well for the experience of the players. Specifically, the experience of everyone's wallets. Zero, Bass, Zero Blast passed. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why she passed. Uh, I did see that she passed, uh, passed up her qualification spot. Uh, and it went to... Get their name. I'm bad with names, uh, but I did see that. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's difficult to it's difficult to you know to justify. So 
while I'm sure everybody has their own reasons for not going, it feels like it's uh, too big of a burden, right? Especially when it's in the middle of March. Mortsy. Is it Mortsy? That sounds right. Shiggity Shank, I'm going to believe you. If you're wrong, I'm taking your sword away. And I'm giving it to die by sword. Because he'll die by it. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the last chance qualifiers and why some players are passing on it. Um, it's difficult. It sucks because I think the decision to do a whole week-long thing is cool, but it just puts too much of a strain on people.